Our friend Anke makes models. She makes them based on photos and drawings of the original. She has a vast collection already. Most of them are buildings, like model versions of different villages around Ireland, models of famous Irish lighthouses, castles and the general post office in Dublin. You can buy her models as flat packs and assemble them yourself, very easy with an astonishingly realistic result. Anke usually starts with taking photos of the buildings she wants to make models of. Then she makes ink drawings based on these photos. These get turned into the parts that make up the final model. I drew drawings as big as I can on the A4 because hmm. I have an A4 scanner and I don't have an A3 scanner yet. So I, you know, because I do the yeah. drawings and then I scan them in. So, so I that's can... drawn by um, this yeah, Pencil just with ink. ink. Yeah. yeah. And oh. then uh, I just do that on as big as I can and then uh, and then scan it in. I really like Anka's models and I wanted one myself. So I asked her to make a model of the old farmyard I hope to restore for my therapeutic riding farm. These are the buildings as they are now. To start with, Anka took photos of all of them and took measurements of their dimensions. One day I also hope to have this brand new barn built to provide a bigger sheltered space for my work. But as it has not been built yet, all I have for now is the drawing, which I gave to Anke as well. So I don't really uh, do everything the same size or so that it fits together initially. You know, I just kind of... All oh, right, so you do it as you go along and then once you've scanned it in the computer then you can put it... Yeah. 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 So uh, normally I try to go as big as possible. So, and often just the presence of a colour then is enough. Anke then sat down to make drawings of the buildings. There are four all together. She coloured these in with watercolour. The pictures get scanned into her computer where she can fiddle with the colours and size. That's this was scanned in the yeah. computer and then it was printed out. Yeah, at the size yeah. that I want. So the, the beauty of it yeah. is now that you can yeah. print out any size. Any size. <laughs> you can blow it up. Yeah. And could print the paintings out in the size we chose for our model. We chose the scale ratio 1 to 160 to give me a good size model that isn't too big because I still want to be able to move it around to show people like potential investors. The next step is to score along where the folds will be. This will make it much easier to assemble the model correctly. Is it? This is card, yeah, it's about 220. Then the pieces get cut out, leaving flaps all around. Beautiful shed. <laughs> Beautiful tiny shed. Ah, okay. So, and then you can easily see, that's how you can easily fold things then. The flaps fold easily now and the model can be glued together. There you have it. So that's the next, yeah, okay. And that's super duper glue. No, it's just all purpose. The good thing about it is that it's sort of like a contact glue. So uh, you can just do the two surfaces and then it just holds immediately. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. So I leave that to the side now. And now I'm going to um, cut out the roof for that shed. There we go. There you go. And the roof is on. Just something here. See how that works. So if you want doors and things to open, yeah, you have to do it while it's flat. And have um, a horse standing in there. Yeah. That's one side of the barn. Door, 
and in no time we have a small farmyard. There they are, they have little flaps at the bottom to stick them in. If it was so easy to grow trees like that. Yes. Oh, quick, let's have a 20 year old tree next to that. Trees plant. grow within <laughs> minutes, making everything look more natural. Brilliant job, thanks, Anke. <laughs> yeah, so let's see where Sandra is. Is she feeding the animals? Is she having a cup of tea in the tea room? Oh, yeah, I see her in there. She's putting the kettle on. I got myself some model people and animals to fill the yard up a bit. They are in N scale to fit my scale ratio. And there it is, my dream come true in model size. That's a start though. And now onwards and upwards to make it all happen in real life size. Wish me luck! <laughs>